11 10 right is go through the comments and just reply and speak to you guys about what you guys have been saying in the comments and just talk about it um so yeah starting up it says let me let me scroll up because there's actually a lot more someone said is there going to be a discord okay i've been seeing like loads of comments about this there will be a discord right but i don't want to make a discord when there is only like five people in the discord you get what i'm saying i put it on my instagram my instagram is um skfx every star effects or whatever i'll put it up on the screen now right but i don't want to i don't want to have a discord where only two or three people are in my discord you get what i'm trying to say like i want it to be a good discord do you know what i'm saying so once i gain more of a following then yeah i'm down to make a, a group for all of us to to talk and all that do you know what i'm saying but just give it a bit more time just a bit more time but after a bit then i'm i'm gonna make it for you lots and yeah we can all keep in contact everyone can send their trades i'm gonna have different channels and set that all up um next up we someone's uh, you should try using a 5k account and seeing that you're planning on starting a 5k treat the demo as funded on the same rules yeah uh i did actually start doing that um yeah i started i'm practicing on a 5k even on my well actually no i'm practicing on a 50k technically but on fx replay i'm back testing on 5k because that is what i'm gonna start with but yeah um i agree and that's why i'm currently doing it um i support you bro and so many people are like oh yo i support you i support you thank you bro i appreciate it uh crazy man keep on back testing you got this yeah literally back testing is literally the key bro because a lot of these trades that i thought i wouldn't hit like first this is an update on the trade by the way i haven't spoke about it in a bit but like a lot of these trades if i didn't back test i feel like i've got better at the higher time frame trades do you get what i'm saying short lower time frame are a bit harder for me so i learned that off back testing so now i'm taking these like higher time frame trades hopefully this hits by the way it looks decent right now um this is senai from the future and yeah this trade hit for 2.5 percent profit yeah they're saying a the trade breakdown anyway so but yeah it looks decent hopefully it hits but yeah i'm getting better at these higher time frame trades and um that all comes from back testing uh someone the bro someone said clean your uh, clean your monitor bro my look on camera you can't even see that it's that dusty like that you only realize how dusty it is looking back at the footage right but in general like in my day-to-day -day life i can't even tell it's dusty but yeah um someone says scalping is very hard especially if you don't have much experience try trading longer term uh longer time frames it's so much easy it's so much easier um, i think you're saying and you have much more time to think about it if you want to stay in your trade or exit etc even entering you have much more time a one hour candle will take 60 minutes to go to the next whereas you have one or five minutes thinking about it if you should enter if you're on one minute or five minute and you are risking way too much one percent for two percent will blow your account even if you get lucky passing you're rushing your funded account why not wait one month to pass the funded you have 80 more years to live no rush me in 20 trading days one month if you aim for 0 0.5 percent profit a day risking 0.25 percent you'll pass phase one and maybe some of phase two depending on profit targets even if you need to pass phase two if you're a scalper you have to know where the markets are good uh in the 50 minutes so you're saying, da, da, da. i'm kind of skim reading real quick i think i saw somewhere that you have only been trading for four months in the nicest way possible someone who has been trading for four months definitely cannot predict where the currency markets will go in the next five minutes one other thing tell people learning to trade is if you're bothered about your losses or gains you're trying to much money you are trading too much money if you are on a 100k account and lose 250 that's nothing you lose you lost 3k today and uh yeah imagine if you were 0 0.25 percent per trade lost three like today you still only lost 750 that is fine isn't it and another way you still uh another day you'll make three profitable trades that's 1.5k that's 1.5 percent that is a huge step closer to your profit target isn't it so try what i suggest even on demo I promise it will be much easier and less stressful yeah i hear that right i i, I hear that it's just one of them where i'm gonna have to go try it do you know what i'm trying to say like 0.25 percent risk is obviously minimal risk i think the one thing i'm really i'm not really focused on 
the 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 money for example like losing 750 or like losing 3k technically the same percentage well it's different percentages i've lost right because if i'm risking 0.2 uh, five percent each trade i'll only lose 0.75 percent if i lose three trades in total but i don't think it's a it's a money thing like right now i'm just trying to be profitable i understand this so once i i feel like i am profitable and i'm going on to like the funded stage yeah cool i'll, I'll take that into consideration but right now i feel like i'm i'm not even profitable i'm still learning do you know what i'm saying i'm still back testing i'm still testing out my strategy i'm still taking trades to see what works for me so right now i just don't think it's necessary um right now i just don't think it's necessary for me to to be doing that but in general i think i will do it in the future most likely um what else do we have I'm going to be real with you, bro. You're going to lose mad money, but you'll learn from the pain over the years. I've got skin in the game. Remember this in a few years' time. Okay, yeah. Um, I, yeah, and I said you have to sacrifice to see success. And you're uh, willing to sacrifice. Yeah. I am. I feel like that's it. You just got to be willing to make sacrifice, whether that's your time or that's money. Like my man said, I mean, you've got to be willing to sacrifice. And I, I think I'm... I think personally I am willing to I am willing to sacrifice so I feel like it will go a long way for you. Someone said trade futures so much better than forex man. Look, oh, oh wow, I, I I agree. I've been seeing so much people say oh trade trade futures, trade futures, trade futures, trade futures and they're like big people in the industry right saying you should trade um does anyone know like the juvia juvia gems guy he trades futures sometimes and he was saying how much better it is because they have like i'm pretty sure they have like some regulated system where like everybody has the same price like one broker doesn't have a different price to another broker so you can't literally be, every broker has the same the same price because from the same what's the what's the name i can't remember the name of it but yeah every broker has the same price no one has a different price so it's like you can't get shagged or like slippage and all that all these things is just so much better is what i've been seeing so yeah um in the future maybe when i'm profitable i'll trade futures i'll trade futures um what's bias and what do you mean by that okay what bias is is where well okay well first of all let me just give you um definition let me just give you the insinuation or prejudice for against one person oh it's definitely not that uh cause to feel or show inclination towards someone or something or against someone or something basically bias is where it's the direction you believe it will go for example um i'm, I'm explaining this kind of badly right now but like my bias right now is bullish because i think it will go here or i believe it'll go here because of how like a previous price action i believe it'll go here my bias is bullish i'm not going to say my bias is bearish because we're in an uptrend and there's no science to tell me it's bearish bias is like where i believe it will next go someone put in the comments if i'm mistaken or i've explained that badly but yeah to me that's what bias is um and people were saying keep out gangy and all this stuff yeah i appreciate it man yeah honestly like keep it up love the bit see hello man show support and i actually appreciate that like crazy um yeah i i just don't even know what to say i appreciate that like mad so yeah um to everyone showing support thank you um and that's it for this video i can't like i was gonna make this a section of another video that i've got going on but the video this this video alone has lasted um what we on nine minutes so i'll probably just post this as a sewing video um yeah man, I, honestly i'll be making a discord soon keep like keep in mind i'll make a discord soon don't worry i'll be making a discord no matter what um just wait a bit longer just wait a bit longer until more people want the discord to be a thing and then yeah once we're all in the discord we can all stay connected it'll be a good community um i'll try get some free stuff to drop in the discord for you lots um yeah that's pretty much it though love watching the video like subscribe um comment do all of that 
And yeah, man, I appreciate it. The support's crazy. All of you guys are saying, keep it up. You're going to do good. You started young and that gassing me up. Everyone's gassing me up. So yeah, I appreciate it. See you lots later. See you lots later today, probably.